All right, Tim, let's see what we got here. Uh, we've got an isomorphic keyboard, 192 keys, copy of the Axis 64 from See Through Music. It's velocity sensitive. What's this box you got here? That is a MIDI box, 32-bit core. So I bought the PCB with the processor already pre-soldered. It's an ST 32-bit micro. Um, modified an existing MIDI box project that was an 88 key velocity sensitive keyboard mm -hmm. to be 192 keys in this configuration. And over here we've got one that's in progress. This is mine that's in progress. Uh, Tim actually made the PCBs on this. And if you get in close here you can see that these are a whole bunch of cherry switches. Um, each and every single uh, individual one of these is soldered. Um, and you can see this is just the top board, but Tim has put together both of these boards. So there's a bottom board as well. Underneath the bottom board, uh, you can see we've got all these little tactile switches um, that run on the bottom. Let's see if I flip this over. Let's see if I can get you to see. I don't know if this is going to be a little bit much. But these uh, cherry switches, when you pull the uh, little nub off the bottom, has a little plunger that goes all the way through that will make contact with the tactile switches. And you get a slight time delay between the top switch being pushed and the bottom switch being pushed. And that's what gives you the velocity sensitive uh, keyboard. So. Yeah, you want to play a little bit so we can see how yours is working? Yeah, I'm triggering a piano sample so we can see the dynamics, basically. You can get, this should be a velocity of one, barely audible, all the way up to 127. And the, the key layout is basically there's fifths in the columns. Um, diagonally to the right is a major third, and to the left is a minor third. So once you get hex keycaps on here, you can do a triad with one finger. It's kind of hard to do with these keyboard keys. But... So all the chords are just patterns. So in order to move a chord from one key to another, just moving the same pattern around on the keyboard. So still doing some learning on how to actually play the thing, but hoping it'll be more intuitive than a piano. Very cool. And uh, next step is we're going to do uh, some keycaps on these as well, some hexagonal keycaps we're going to manufacture. Um, this is some color coordination so you actually know where you're at on the keyboard as well. Um, Overall, an excellent project. This is uh, Sound Builders at Level 1 in Louisville, Kentucky. Thanks, guys.